Hello friends. In this session, we will learn how to use Raptor. Raptor is a flowchart-based programming environment designed specially to help the students to visualize the algorithm. Students prefer using flowchart to express the algorithm and are more successful creating algorithm using Raptor than using a traditional language or creating flowchart without Raptor. So when you will first time open the Raptor, you will get two window. The window which containing the main tab. This window is an interface where you need to draw your flowchart, and the next window is a master console. Master console window helps you to visualize your output. So when you will run your flowchart, the output of your flowchart will be display on this window. In Raptor, you will work on the six symbols, and these six symbols are assignment, call, input, output, selection, and loop. So let's start with the first symbol. Is your assignment symbol? Assignment symbol is used when you want to do some computation, when you want to do some processing. Call symbol is used when you want to work on procedure. Input symbol is used when you want to take some value from a user and want to store that value in a variable. Output symbol is used to display some message on a screen. Selection symbol is used when you want to put some condition. And loop symbol is used when you want to repeat some set of statement so let's start with a very basic example in this example i need to input two value from a user and want to display the result of that value on a screen so when you will start with drawing the flow chart you will get two symbols by default start and end you need to drag and drop all the symbol of your flow chart in between start and end so first start to input because when you want to add the two value you need to input the two numbers so let's start save your program and double click on that here you will get first enter prompt here in enter prompt here you need to mention the message which you want to display on a screen when a user will enter the value i am displaying a simple message enter the value of x in second time you will get a option to enter the variable name so you can mention the variable name i am using the variable name as x again you need to repeat the same step for the second variable so again i am adding a input symbol and double click on that and again enter the message i am displaying enter the value of y and mention the variable name y next you need to add the two number so you need to do the processing so add the assignment symbol in assignment symbol you need to mention the result of x plus y to some variable so when the value of x plus y will be calculate it will store in some variable and the name of the variable is sum and done after that you need to display the sum of x plus y so take a output symbol in output symbol you can display the output directly means the value of x plus y on the screen or you can also concatenate your result with some message so i am want to display a message first of all that result is and after that i want to display the value of my result so you need to use plus operator to concatenate the string with the variable name so i am displaying my sum variable here now run your flow chart a prompt will display which display a message enter the value of x so mention any value okay then it will move to the next symbol and again it will ask for a value then it will do processing and display the sum as 30 so this is the way through which you can work with a flow chart thanks for watching